I was in Independence, Missouri one time. A dear friend of mine helped run the Truman Library, and she took me into the basement to show me some of the artifacts of President Truman. I held his cufflinks in my hand, and, and I also looked at some of his quotes. Listen to this that he said. He said, a pessimist is one who makes difficulties of his opportunities. An optimist is one who makes opportunities of his difficulties. Here's Psalms 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise God for the help of God's countenance. Well, sometimes, despite our trust in God's promises, we may fall into a spiritual trap. And what is a spiritual trap? A spiritual trap can be worry, it can be frustration, it can be discouragement. And during those times, our hearts become heavy. What we need at such time is plenty of rest. And that's what the weekend is for, or it should be. You've got to give yourself time to recharge. Time that sleep doesn't give you. You've got to have time to play and to, to sit on the sofa and put your feet up and to think about God. So often we get so busy, even on our Sundays, that we forget to, to sit in the silence and allow that infilling of God to infill us. It will give us, when we do that, a large dose of perspective and also God's healing touch. God is our helper, and we can place our hope in God without any fear of disappointment. Today, I ask you, and this entire weekend, I ask you to be a hope-filled believer. If you're not, make it happen again. I know we've had things happen in our life that are so disastrous at times. Sometimes it knocks our soul. We've been sucker punched by, by life itself. But you need to turn it back again and to, to not look at the appearances but turn towards God in trust. Again, all your cares to God. And think again, optimistically, about your life, your family, your profession. Just in that alone, those things that I have mentioned, think optimistically about your life, your family, your profession. So many times we have to admit that we're no longer thinking optimistic in that area of our lives. Well, if you don't do it, who will? And in order for God to get something to you, God has to get it through you in your free will. You have to open up again to believe bigger again, to create a conduit of spiritual energy coming through you into your life into the area that you want to be better. Your future will be better when you do. Nourish your hopes, not your fears. Take time to meditate on God's goodness and God's faithfulness. And then, when you've filled your heart with new hope and new gladness and new optimism, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with others. And they'll be better for it. And so will you. Happy weekend.